Hello everyone and welcome to another absolutely glorious day here in Sunny Isles, Florida. We have, uh, you see the ship way over there on the horizon. I don't know if I can locate him if I do this. Oh, there he is. It's, like it's way, 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 way over there, that ship. And there have been uh, sailing boats going by. I don't know why it does that. Sorry about the flash. It's just the, the zooming in and out of the camera. There are people whipping around on jet skis, which is a lot of fun. There's always this jet ski area right here. And every time I've been here, all of those things have been full. And I, I think the guys get kind of bummed out because they don't get anybody coming in as customers. <laughs> but there are at least three. Hang on. So there's three that way. And if I can pan slowly so I don't make you feel seasick, <laughs> there's the fourth one. So they actually have four of them out today. There are not a lot of people on the pier today, which is amazing because usually at the end everybody there is, is fishing. And uh, I think I mentioned to you before that lemon sharks hang out down under there. And it's been fun because... <laughs> Oh, I'm so awful. I'm just so awful. There's people swimming. And those folk there, they had gone out farther. Can you see them there in the water? They have gone out further than where they are now. I've lost them. Hang on here. Oh no, I've lost my people. <laughs> oh, they're in amongst the piers. That's the problem. So they're down in the water. There, you can kind of see them bobbing along. They did go out further. They do have masks on. <laughs> And I was sitting here thinking to myself, well, no, this should be interesting. I wonder what will happen when they see the sharks. <laughs> and they did what I thought they did. They stopped dead, and they started swimming back as quickly as they could <laughs> to the area where there weren't any sharks. <laughs> what I'm really hoping I get to show you, and I don't know if it'll show up for this video, but hopefully sometime along the way, there's a, a, a pair now... I'm sorry, I call it an albatross. It's a pelican. I got a side view of it. and But there are these pelicans that keep dive-bombing into the water to get fish. But because there aren't so many people at the end of the pier fishing today, <laughs> they're dive-bombing in by the people here in the water. <laughs> I'm so awful. But I mean, like, they are circling. They, they go right so close over the top of everybody, the people are ducking. Like, it, it's that crazy, these two. There was one, and he just kept doing it. Well, then he came back with a friend. <laughs> and he and the friend kept doing it. So I'm not certain. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> the scripture comes to mind, actually, is from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, I believe, verse 11. It's one of those ones that you should know that we do know, where it says that God makes everything beautiful in his time. Even goofy pelicans that <laughs> dive bomb at people. And on a day like this, when it's just palm trees and water and glorious sunshine, it's very easy to see how he makes everything beautiful. And I was just talking to my mom and she said that at home right now, it is very gray. It is really, really raining. The power is flickering. And it would appear that there would be no beauty in that. But he makes everything beautiful in his time. And we know that even when the rain is happening, when the storms are happening, that God uses them. And he uses them in our lives for his glory. And he uses all of these amazing, wonderful things for his glory. Praise his name. So today is a down day. We are just going to relax. My plan is to head down there underneath the pier and to maybe go wandering and looking for seashells. It's quiet enough with the water today. Maybe I'll actually get to go swimming in the ocean. Oh my goodness, I would love to do that. Did that last year and it was so wavy that Steve had to come with me so I didn't get knocked off my feet. I'll have the guys come with me anyway because I have to take my glasses off so I can see what I'm doing. But I am looking forward to getting out into God's absolutely glorious, glorious creation. <laughs> Blessings, everyone.